Well, see, Devil's Tower and other objects like that are made out of igneous rock. In this case, Devil's Tower is made out of phonolite. The thing is, things don't really fossilize in igneous rocks because you have lava that has to flow. Now, there are fossils that are made out of igneous rocks. Uh, near Ape Cave in the state of Washington, there's a lava flow, and there were trees that were caught in the lava flow, and there's casts of the, uh, of the trees left in the lava flow. But you have a, it's a cast. It's not the actual full-fledged uh, tree trunk left inside the lava flow there. So in order for that to be a tree trunk, you're going to have to explain how there was a cast originally created of the tree. Lava or magma would have had to fill that cast and then solidified into the shape of the tree. And then all the sediment that the uh, tree was originally fossilized in as a cast suddenly eroded away, exposing this what we call a volcanic plug. And I know it looks like it has roots going into the ground as well, but that's just a natural structure things take. Uh, you can go take a look at a mineral, uh, what's it called, magnesite, I think it's called. I can't remember off the top of my head. But magnesite forms tree-like structures on the rocks that it grows on. Uh, so more than likely, Devil's Tower is a volcanic plug because of the type of material it's made out of. Uh, petrified wood does not turn into phonolite. It, actually, that is impossible for that to happen.